name is Marvi Lakar. I'm a Sony artisan, a photographer, and a director. And we're here in the waters of Isla Guadalupe, in Mexico, with my husband and fellow photographer, Benjamin Lowy, and our colleague, Luke Inman. We're here to document our sons, Mateo and Caleb, as they go on their first cage dive with great white sharks. Both Ben and Luke are experienced underwater photographers, and on this video, they will take you behind the scenes of how to photograph great white sharks. When it comes to photographing wild creatures, we have to understand what we can do and what we can't do in the field. One of the general rules of diving is not to touch the marine life. Awesome! That was crazy! The most important thing to keep in mind is that safety is tantamount to a successful and enjoyable trip. We are shooting from a steel cage suspended over 250 feet of ocean. Understanding how when you exhale, the bubbles from a typical regulator scare fish away, or how sudden movements in the water can spook animals are key. Ironically, I have bad eyesight. So for me, autofocus is key to any camera I use. The Sony A9 is my answer. This camera has so many different autofocus options, ones that help us lock focus on moving subjects and avoid foreground elements like bait fish. This shoot, I used two lenses, the Sony 16 to 35 millimeter F4 and the Sony 55 1.8. The reason why I use these more compact lenses is that while I'm in the water, I have to consider buoyancy, breathing, sharks, and death. Most photographers don't drop past F8 because water gives the bokeh and depth of the field a whole new meaning. The 55mm, on the other hand, is great for shark portraits. These sharks go for their food fast, so having a camera that can shoot fast is key. The A9 can record at 20 frames a second. For this trip, Luke chose the A7R 3 and he used the 28 f2 lens paired with a wet lens made by Nautica. There are two important reasons why he used the A7R 3 for shooting video. One, there's so much more versatile color management when you have the ability to shoot S-Log, Cine, or HDR. The second reason is that the A7R 3 is one of the first cameras to shoot full-frame video in 4K. So you can choose to crop the video to a Super 35, which gives you the option of shooting two different focal lengths without changing your lens. After their first day underwater, the boys decided that they wanted to follow in their father's footsteps, underwater photography. So for a few minutes, they went underwater with their own cameras. I wanted a versatile camera small enough for me to maneuver while keeping an eye on Matteo and Caleb. I chose the Sony A6500 with its 16 to 50 lens because it fits in a compact Icoli underwater housing. I can hold it with one hand while the other is free to help and hold the boys in case they get nervous. We outfitted them with two small cameras set on full auto. Mateo had the RX105 in the Icolite housing, and Caleb had the waterproof RX0 strapped to his wrist. These cameras have the ability to record both video and stills, which the boys enthusiastically captured until they dropped them into the ocean. This is what I did to say, I see a shark. I see shark. At the end of the day, we're so incredibly grateful for the opportunity to experience this trip as a family and to record some of these moments for the boys to remember. Sony has a variety of cameras for every skill level, which will allow you to record with ease the memories that will last a lifetime.